art authorities agree on director Sam Mendes's ambitious production, The Ferryman, as the most alluring spectacle of the year. The British political play topped many art critics' annual lists. It was two major performing arts events that set the standard for 2017, however. Devised to recognise excellence in the London thespian scene, the Laurence Olivier Awards kicked off the season. School of Rock, School of Rock. The production that caused much of the buzz was a stage adaptation of global literary phenomenon Harry Potter. Labelled the production of the year, Harry Potter and the Cursed Child won nine Olivias, including Best New Play. Author J.K. Rowling admitted to bowing down to the magic of theatre. Amazing, wonderful. I um, yeah, it's been a long time since I've been at a Potter first night, so it's special, very wonderful. What's it been like kind of handing over the reins to Jack and John? It's been one of the best creative experiences of my life. I can honestly say that we, the three of us, we we did it together, and we worked very closely together. And uh, but I trusted them completely. You know, I never would have let this happen if I hadn't known I was I was doing it with the right people. In addition to the new experimentations that swiped towards, veterans who pioneered the art form also gained recognition in 2017. Actor-director Kenneth Branagh was one such figure to be recognised on the 35th anniversary of his Best Newcomer Award. It's a great honour. I mean, the, uh, the previous recipients of this award are people who are my heroes, and so to be in that company is a pretty smashing feeling, yeah. Hailing and celebrating the talents of Broadway productions, the 71st Tony Awards were dominated by the musical Dear Hansen. The stage show managed to win six out of its nine nominations, including Best Musical and a Best Actor for its lead, Ben Platt. It is completely surreal and tremendous, and it's been a long, long road, um, but I've enjoyed every step of it, and I believe in our show every step of the way, and it's exceeded my expectations at every turn. One production that surprised critics was set in the Great Depression era, Girl from the North Country. The Bob Dylan song-inspired play was praised for its inventiveness by the theatre-going public.